Hello, today I want to talk about our spirit team, right? This morning I wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about. I, um, I did, of course, have my ceremony with Great Cacao. I did some tr drumming. While I was drumming, I had my eyes closed, asking spirit to guide me what, what would be a good topic to talk about today. And nothing, I had a few ideas come in, but nothing that I really felt, yes, I want to talk about that. And probably within two, three minutes, the phone rang, and it was a client of mine who we had a, we had a phone session yesterday, and she is planning a really special trip to Europe. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime trip. She's in her 60s. Um, there's some things that are making her nervous. There's some technology stuff going on. And so we're just working on calming her energy and getting her uh, really set for this very exciting trip. And one of the things that just keeps coming in is talk to your spirit team. And I said, talk to your travel angel, angels, right? I, I, I said that to her. I travel a lot. I love to travel. So I'm always in constant contact with my travel angel, angels. And she called me this morning to share some of the magic and the miracles that have happened in just these 24 hours since our session. And it was, she's like, Helen, I get it we're not just supposed to talk to our spirit team in emergencies. It's a constant. And I said, yes, hallelujah. She's got it. Yes. Uh, um, this is particularly a message that I always say to my clients. Most people who come to see me are empaths, highly sensitive people. So we are more fine tuned to spirit to hear the messages if we so choose. Right. And this is the advantage, right? This is the the gift, one of the gifts, one of the many gifts of being um, highly sensitive and an empath, uh, which I love teaching people who come in and think that being an empath or highly sensitive is, is the worst curse in the world. And it is that we get to be in communication with our spirit team um, and get the guidance just like that and get the gifts. And one of the things that I shared with her yesterday on, on the, on the, in the healing session was the way I work with my, these are, this is travel angel, angels, right? We have, we can have helpers for all sorts of things. And, but this was my specific example that I am um, going to be celebrating my birthday on December 21st in England. And, um, it's like, you know, not a fun time to have a birthday. Everybody's traveling. They've already got their plans. And so I'm going to go over and see a dear friend of mine, Emma Martikarena. And so I booked my flight about, about a month ago, if not more. Super excited. I'm going to go over for two weeks. And it was not a good flight. Like I had to go through Detroit and come back through JFK. And in December, the chances of there being a, a storm are, are good have a layover, it's Christmas time, who knows what could happen. So I got a message from Expedia saying, your flight's been canceled. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. So they gave me some options. Uh, what to, option one, two, three, to change my flight. And I responded from the email like I'll have option one but it was very similar to the flight that had just been canceled so my intuition again intuition told me to call it was a phone number to call so I called got this delightful woman in the Philippines and uh, she explained what happened and I said silently in my head to my travel angels I said please help Sarah get an amazing new flight that is direct. And 15 minutes later, after, you know, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, this is taking so long. And I said, no problem. And I'm just waiting and I'm just in that space of, please let them get a magical, wonderful new flight for me. It worked, they came through. So I, she says, I have a new flight on British Air, which is, I've traveled a lot. Uh, it's an amazing airline and, uh, I have a direct flight 530 in the evening, getting in at London at 10 AM 
versus the other one that was leaving midday, getting in at like 6.30 in the morning. Wow. And then she says, oh, sorry to tell you that your returning flight has also been canceled. But this flight that you're going on, the there's a returning flight that's also direct. And then the cherry on top, it was $60 less. So I just share that story. I shared it with her. I share it with you so that you can see that when we are in constant communication with our spirit team, the beings of love, beings of light, our helping spirits, our power animals, our fairies. I always love talking to the parking fairies to find me a parking spot right close to where I need to go, particularly if it's a challenging place to find parking. They love to help us. They only need us to ask for help, ask for guidance. That's all. It doesn't have to be some huge uh, way of asking. Just please help me. Please support me. And of course, giving them thanks and gratitude. They love that. So have fun with that and just talk to them constantly, all day. And it could be anything. You're going to the supermarket. And you're saying, hey, show me a new food that would be really beneficial for me. Talk to your food angels. And again, I am using the word angels. You could be your food helping spirits. They could be the food fairies, right? It, have fun. Spirit does not want us to be all serious about this all the time. No, all right? Have fun with it. And feel free to put any posts, any messages comments in the, in, the, in the feed below of any fun stories that have happened when you've been in contact with your uh, spirit team. And on that note, I wish you a gorgeous rest of your day.